If you've been scratching your head trying to figure out how to get your photos out of iCloud and onto your PC quickly and safely, this video is for you. iCloud is great for syncing across devices, but when it comes to downloading everything at once, especially if you're moving away from Apple or just want a physical backup, it can be a real pain. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use a brilliant little tool called Copy Transcloudly and make sure you stay to the very end because I've got a clever tip to protect your iCloud downloads long term. What is Copy Transcloudly? Let's start with what Copy Transcloudly actually is. It is a window based program designed to let you download, restore or delete everything in your iCloud photo library in just a few clicks. And yes, it downloads the full resolution original versions of your photos and videos, which is a big deal. Using Copy Transcloudly to download. Once you've downloaded and installed Copy Transcloudly from the official site, Open it up and log in with your Apple ID. You'll need to enter a verification code if you have two-factor authentication turned on. This is all standard and secure. It doesn't store your credentials so you can feel confident you're in safe hands. Now here's where the magic happens. Click download, choose the folder where you want the images to go and then it's just a matter of minutes or maybe a few hours and the interface shows you the progress and you can pause and resume as you need. Once downloaded, you will have all your albums plus a folder with all photos, so you'll have some duplicates. Now, if you go off and take some more photos, the beauty is that Copy Trans Cloudly will check and only download the new stuff, so it won't re-download it all again. But watch out. If you go to the download and delete some of the files, Copy Trans Cloudly will forget that it's already downloaded them and download them again. Slightly annoying. Now, a quick side note, if you're working on decluttering or sorting your digital photos and you're feeling a bit lost on what to do once you've got them all downloaded, don't forget I've created my Photo Mess Success courses. They are designed to help you go from photo chaos to an organized backed up system you can actually enjoy. You can check them out at photomesssuccess.co.uk and I'll be there every step of the way to guide you through. All right, back to Copy Transcloudly using Copy Transcloudly to upload. Now let's flip things around. What if you want to upload photos to the iCloud using Copy Transcloudly? Maybe you've tidied up your collection, added some scans from your computer or edited some older photos and now you want them available on all your Apple devices. Copy Transcloudly can help you do just that without needing to sync through Apple Photos or deal with iCloud.com. To upload files, click on the upload button. Now choose the folder on your computer that contains the photos you want to upload and then you have to select all the photo files. This could be a folder of newly scanned prints, edited files, or even an exported album from another photo platform. Copy Trans Cloudly will start uploading those files directly into your iCloud Photos account. This means these photos will become part of your iCloud Photo library and sync across your iPhone, iPad, Mac, and any other devices using the same Apple ID. But watch out, they won't appear in your imports area. So make sure you're happy with your upload and the dates before you press the magic button. One important thing to remember here is that Copy Transcloudly doesn't do duplicate checking or folder level organization. It simply uploads the files. So it's best to curate your uploads beforehand and make sure you're not sending 15 versions of the same beach sunset. And once the upload is complete, you can hop onto your Photos app on your phone or Mac and see your newly added photos right there in your library. The pros and cons. When it comes to pros, it's incredibly simple to use and saves you from the frustration of manually downloading from iCloud in batches. It grabs original quality files, including those stored only in the cloud, not just thumbnails or compressed versions. You don't need iTunes or Photos for Windows installed. It's fast, clean, and does exactly what it says. When it comes to cons, the big one is that it's Windows only. Sorry Mac users, this one is not for you. And while there is a free version, it's limited to a few dozen downloads. For full functionality, you'll need the paid version. But if you're trying to download thousands of photos, it's a small price for the time and hassle it saves. Bonus tip, back up like a pro. 
Now, before we wrap up, here's my bonus tip. Once you've used Copy Trans Cloudly to download your full iCloud library, create a backup straight away. Either copy those files to external hard drive or upload them to a different cloud service like OneDrive or Dropbox. This gives you the three, two, one backup approach. Three copies of your photos, two formats, and one off site. That way, if anything goes wrong with iCloud or your PC, your precious memories are still safe. And if you're ready to dive into actually sorting those downloaded files, check out this video next, where I walk through my favorite folder systems for keeping your photos organized. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe for more photo organizing tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.